Harmonica Lessons, NYC.com. Podcast number six. My connection with The Who. My connection with the band The Who. My interest in The Who began in my senior year of high school in an alternative English class called Escape Literature. It was one of my favorite classes. We studied The Who's rock opera, Quadrophenia, for an entire semester. I would dream of seeing The Who in concert. A couple of years later, in 1982, I would be in luck. I ran into a high school friend, Paul, late one Saturday night in October while enjoying a beer outside the bowling alley on Route 6 in Seekonk, Mass. He asked me if I wanted to see The Who in concert the following weekend at Shea Stadium in New York City. He had four tickets on hand. Of course, I said. There was no way I would miss the Who's farewell tour. The catch? I'd have to drive Paul and two other people to New York City and back that night. We can all pitch in for gas, he said. I thought to myself, 200 miles to New York City in a 1970 Volvo with almost 200,000 miles. It blows a quart of oil every 200 miles and has a hole in the muffler. The front tires are good, but the rear ones are bald. After much intensive mental deliberation, well, it actually only took a few seconds, I accepted Paul's offer. I had one week and $95 in savings to get the car in shape for the road trip. I drove to a tire shop in Providence, Rhode Island, and for $60, I bought two recap tires for the Volvo. On the way home, I bought a muffler repair kit at Benny's Home and Auto Store. I patched the muffler and had $25 left for gas, oil, and snacks for the trip. The muffler repair and the recaps held up well, but just after we crossed the Rhode Island-Connecticut border, the alternator light started flashing. I was a bit nervous about this, but I ignored it and kept driving. It took nearly five hours to get to Shea Stadium because that old four-cylinder engine was hauling four men and would run best at about 50 miles an hour. It was a misty fall night. We sat near the top of the stadium. The concert was amazing. The light show was spectacular. The volume of the music was near ear deafening. Close to 50,000 people were rocking that place. This was my first and only large stadium rock concert. Fortunately, somebody videotaped that show and put it up on YouTube. I was so ecstatic discovering this that my eyeballs nearly popped out of their sockets. Roger Daltrey played blues harmonica on the songs Baba O'Reilly and Drown that night. This happens 16 minutes and 10 seconds into the video. With a sold out crowd, it took forever to leave the parking lot that night. It was a long but uneventful trip back to Rhode Island. We made it home safely a little past 6 a.m. Two days later, the car died. I took the alternator off and had it bench tested. It needed to be replaced. I got a ride to work that week and had to wait until I cashed my paycheck on Friday to buy a new alternator. Good thing the car didn't die a couple of days earlier. What is your connection with the Who? If you would like to have live video lessons to learn the harmonica from the songs of the Who, contact me at harmonicalessonsnyc.com or bluesharpteacher at earthlink.net. The Who songs with the harmonica. One, join together. The song Join Together was released in 1972 as a non-album single. Chord and bass harmonicas were played on this track, also a jaw harp. Roger Daltrey is credited with the harmonica and Pete Townsend with the jaw harp. 2. Baba O'Reilly Roger Daltrey sometimes plays harmonica live on the song Baba O'Reilly. I love Roger's solo at the end of this performance. Get out your harmonica and jam along. Key of D harmonica, played in the second position. Three, the magic bus. 
This is from the Live at Leeds album. Roger Daltrey's funky harmonica licks add a great flavor to this live performance of the Magic Bus. Key of D harmonica played in the second position. Do you know of other songs from The Who that feature the harmonica? More information about The Who. Thank you for listening to podcast number six. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell icon.